This episode of Never Too Small is sponsored by Blue Land. The 13 square metre house is a part of a series of projects that we've been exploring for quite some years now. This project was about how we could make a comfortable house with such a tiny footprint. As far as we know, it's probably one of the smallest houses in London. My name is Nina Tolstrup, a part of Studio Mama, together with... Jack Mama. Uh, we founded Studio Mama in 2000 uh, and have been going ever since. Our little house here is located in North London, Islington. It's on a very lovely street which is in a conservation area. It's very close to a canal, which has got lots of lovely cafes and houseboats. It's very lively in the summer. This building came up around the 1980s and was used as a minicab office. When we bought it on auction, there had been an elderly lady that lived here for a while. The house has been rented out since we have had it. Uh, we have not been able to live here ourselves because I have a family with kids, might do one day. But our previous tenant lived here for three years, very happily. When we bought it, the space was not in great shape. The main footprint of the space was taken up by a bed, which also doubled as a sofa. We kept the location of the bathroom and the kitchen the same because all the surfaces was fixed. We have put all the storage units along the walls and inserted a Murphy bed at the end. The entrance is like a mini tunnel, so it's quite confined to give the sense of journey into the actual room. You have storage on both sides, so one is obviously for hanging your coat and take your shoes off. And uh, there's cabinet for anything that it has a bigger volume. Everything in here is made from ply. It feels like a sort of borderless space. We worked with the existing kitchen sink and a setup that was there because it was actually really functional. We covered it with ply doors and so it just blends very much with the rest of the space now. It has an integrated fridge and cooking island. And then on top there is um, storage of all your kitchen utilities and pots and pans, etc. There's another board that is like a chopping board which extends the work surface. It has a mirror splashback because when we're sitting in the dining area and you're looking through, it kind of extends the space. The dining area is wrapped around the window frame so you would sit um, and have a really nice view out when you're sitting around the table. The table is comfortable for two people, but it can be extended out, so you can sit four or six people. One seat has under the seat storage, and the other side uh, that's backing up to the entrance is where we access the storage for the suitcase or bigger items. On this side of the space, there's a complete storage wall with an integrated seating for relaxing. There's a storage unit you can pull out. There's also a poster, so it's a food rest. There's also a shelf that can pull out, and that's at standing height, so that you can stand and work. The storage unit is built with sliding doors, so there's no doors opening into the space.
The Murphy bed is in what looks like a wardrobe. On one side of it's a mirror, the other side is the ply door. The door actually also functions as also kind of a barrier to the window too, so it adds extra privacy. Inside the bed there is an integrated light and there is shelving for personal items. Between the bed area and the seating area, there is one big storage unit that is uh, the main storage for your everyday clothes and bedding items. The bathroom has a cubicle shower unit, which was there already. Everything else we, we changed. We created a storage unit under the sink, which has an integrated toilet roll holder. We have a quite shallow bathroom mirror, which has a sliding door that has space for toiletries and so on. Even the bathroom is very small, it's very well ventilated. We've got a window in there that can fully open. There's also a vent in the ceiling. The plywood is treated with a normal Osmo varnish. The house is very much a laboratory to develop ideas. It's not that we think people should live in necessarily 13 square meter, but as the pressure on city is that we might have smaller spaces, it could kind of show some ideas, inspiration to how we can get more out of smaller spaces. At Never Too Small, we're always looking at ways to be more sustainable. We've been working on a new series that explores innovators who are taking waste and changing it into extraordinary things. More on that later. This change, however, is a simple one. Blueland makes fantastic no single use plastic cleaners and hand soaps. Their products cut down on waste, are EPA certified, made without any ammonia, chlorine bleach or parabens, and most importantly, work really well. Unlike your traditional liquid cleaners that are sold in single use plastic bottles, with Blueland, all you need to clean your house is this coin sized tablet. It is super simple to use. Fill your forever bottle with warm water, drop a tablet in, and you're ready in minutes. The tablets cost no more than $2, so you can feel much warmer inside knowing that you're not filling your recycling bin with any single-use plastics. We got started with the Clean Essentials Kit, which gets you a foaming hand soap, multi-surface cleaner, bathroom cleaner, glass and mirror cleaner, and the four bottles to go with them. To get started, all you have to do is click our link below and you'll get a further 20% off your first kit. They are shipping to the US, Canada, the UK, Australia and New Zealand. Save money on cleaning products the sustainable way. That's a big tick from us. Thanks for watching. To receive updates on our latest episodes, please subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com/submissions.